Good morning traders and welcome to the daily call today Wednesday the 5th of February. Before we get started as always please understand that any advice in today's session is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Right, let's have a look at what's happened in the markets yesterday. Locally, we had our rate decision, and that decision was that interest rates did not change. They remain the same um, at 0.75%. Um, RBA mentioned uh, that there have been signs that the slowdown in global growth that started in 2018 is coming to an end, so that was positive. And what did they say regarding the coronavirus? Well, um, it Despite the spread of the virus and the potential economic impact, they don't see an immediate need to ease interest rates at the moment. As a consequence, Aussie dollar did get a boost from that, jumping around about 40 odd pips at that news release and having uh, the strongest day uh, in quite some time. We actually featured the Aussie US dollar as our chart of the day yesterday. Unfortunately, what happened was we broke slightly on the downside first, so we didn't so in theory you should have cancelled out your order um, had you not cancelled your order out it would have triggered and you would have made a nice healthy profit on that one not to worry the other bit of data happened only moments ago I didn't know, realize I was going to be doing the daily call this early this morning it's the employment change uh, came in at zero percent and the unemployment rate down four percent at the moment the market is reacting to the data um, so we just need to wait and see what happens. It's only just literally come out moments ago at the time of this recording. All right, let's have a look at our chart of the day. I already mentioned that the Aussie US dollar trade we looked at yesterday did not trigger for me because we broke the bottom side of the inside candle first and then it turned around, broke the top side and continued to go up. So if, if for some of you, if you didn't cancel the order out, you may have found yourself that your order was still in the market and you've probably ended up with a profitable trade on that one. Not to worry, what I've got for us this morning is the US CAD, really nice resistance level over here. We can see the markets reacted once, twice, three times. We are there now for a fourth time. This candle that I'm showing you here at the time of this record it has about 15 minutes to complete and then a new candle is going to form over here it looks very very highly likely that it will remain similar to what I'm showing you right now which will mean that the new candle um, which so which would mean that that candle completes the reversal pattern the new one we can place a pending order at the break of the bottom to trade down again if we do break the high of the inside candle we need to cancel that order out so this one looks like it we set for us to place our pending orders let's see if we get triggered into this trade and let's see how this one plays out for us us cad daily time scale is our chart of the day what's on the agenda for the session which is about to kick off we have just after midday at 12 30 locally we have rba governor low due to speak then at 11.15 this evening from Europe, we have ECB President Lagarde due to speak. Data releases after midnight at a quarter past 12 from the US. It's the private sector employment change number. Don't forget we do have non-farm payrolls later in the week. And at 2 o'clock in the morning from the US, we have the non-manufacturing PMI numbers due. That wraps up the session. Guys, as always, please feel free to contact us if you do have any questions. Follow me on Twitter at ChatFX for trade setups and breaking news. Most importantly, hope you'll have a fantastic trading day. I'll speak to you tomorrow for the Daily Call. Bye for now.